Hey guys, this is Gabe Dimmick from the Baseball Rebellion, and this is the Aaron Judge swing breakdown from the 2017 uh, Home Run Derby uh, that took place this past Monday night, and Aaron Judge absolutely crushed it. He had multiple balls over 500 feet, uh, won the whole thing, uh, just put up unbelievable numbers, and, and so we're going to take a look at his swing. Before I get into it, I'm going to let you guys take a look at his swing, kind of fluidly through it. Um, I know that that's something that uh, a lot of people have requested just that we start out where you can see it fluidly before you hear us break it down. So let's take a look here at his actual swing now. And and, and he is obviously a, a huge guy here at 6'8", 6'7", 6'8", and, you know, uh, 275, 280 pounds. Uh, but he doesn't swing like he's that big of a guy. He swings like a smaller guy, which leads to just an unbelievable swing. And so uh, right here, as he's going into his lift, he does a great job of loading his back hip, uh, you know, really, really showing his back pocket there. You can see the front leg here on the right side, uh, you know, turning inward. Um, you know, you can see that his shoulders are, are tilting downward somewhat as he as he pulls back. Uh, but as he does that, he still keeps his head behind his belly button. So these are all pieces of the of the puzzle that are that are important. So he's loading extremely well. You can see him kind of rotating those shoulders even a little bit more, really pulling back here. And one of the things I like that, that Judge does a lot is that he stays loaded for a very, very long time. So you can see how, how close, watch on the left side here, how close his front foot is to the ground, and he hasn't unloaded yet. And the reason for that is he hasn't decided to swing yet. So when his brain says go or tells him to swing, he's going to really open up this back leg and this back hip. And that's going to um, basically set his foot into the ground. And as he does that, he's also going to drop his shoulder back and get his bat on plane or set on plane to, to go back behind him down toward the catcher's mitt. Uh, so right here as he lands, you can see that back leg turning forward, back hip turning forward. And, you know, right at this landing position, you can see compared to, to Stanton that I, I looked at in another breakdown, his back elbow is up and back more. Um, you can really see in this view on the right how his belly button is very open as his upper body is still very closed. Um, now, one of the things I think that's important to see as well is just how calm his head is. So check out his head over here. And he's loading. He's letting his hips slide out from under him just a little bit before he opens up but his head is really, really, really far back there behind his hip, um, and that's going to allow for, for depth in his swing. So his barrel is going to really go down in the way of the catcher's mitt and then come up through the, the, the incoming pitch. Um, and you can really see the blur of that bat and the direction of the bat. Um, you know, just as far as when he lands, just where his body is, um, you know, it, it stands in stark contrast to... Uh, to, to Stanton. Uh, I keep us using him because they're similar size guys, but Judge is such a better swing. So his, his knob is lower, so it's more about chest height. Um, you know, he's, what that's going to allow him to do is keep his bat more up, uh, and so that's what's going to allow him to be a little more uh, closer to a, to a Ferris wheel than a merry-go-round, and it's going to keep his bat in the zone for a longer period of time. I would say it's not a it's not a pure Ferris wheel, it's somewhere in the middle, um, but it's more so like a Ferris wheel compared to, to Stanton. Um, I tend to like guys who are, are kind of in the middle, like Trout. I think sometimes Chris Bryant can get too steep, too vertical on some of his swings, where guys like Peterson, Bohr, and Stanton can get too flat. So, um, you know, here as he, he blurs the bat down toward the catcher's mitt, it's very 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 important move and it's very very deep so that ball just really has no choice but to be crushed and then he's going to continue his swing upward through this ball here upward through it and it almost looks as if he's throwing the bat out into fair territory so he's creating space behind him to create the speed and then from there he's really just going to continue with that that path that speed that momentum and he's going to let his arms extend out through it so uh extension is something we talk about as not like a push but more of like a release like he's throwing it we do a lot of uh, drills here at baseball rebellion where we do things like med ball throws we have these axe hammers that we'll, we'll throw directionally depending on what pitches we're working on 
And that's really helped a lot of our players to not just become spinny, but to, to stay in the zone a long time. So you can see really out here on the, the left video how his bat stays out here where Stanton, I'm going to change colors here, but Stanton would be more of a guy who's over this way, so out of the zone sooner. Um, so this allows Judge to have a lot of power, not just pull side, but, but also to center field and to, to right field as well. And then he really just turns and leans toward that back leg and finishes um, a lot of weight over the back leg again because he's doing a great job of keeping his head back so uh, again Aaron Judge has an amazing swing I mean we looked at a lot of his a lot of his swings here and it just is, is amazing the way he uses his body love how early he starts and loads I mean you can see again this big counter rotation of those hips and then he just really accelerates the bat down behind him toward the catcher's mitt. And this position here at contact, I mean, his shoulder blades are pulled back. You know, he's really, really behind the ball. And that is a, a huge key in, in hitting is supporting the bat as best as possible, almost like a boxer throwing a knockout uppercut punch. You know, and he does this every time he swings, and that's why he's having such a great year. Um, so congratulations to, to Aaron Judge on his, his home run derby victory. And uh, if he decides to participate in some more, I, I would guess that he will probably win those ones as well. So thanks for watching this breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed it.